It's the case of too many sheepdogs. An Alberta farmer found himself with a few mutts after his purebred dog became a little too friendly with the neighbor's collie. He had two purebred Maramas and he was going to breed them. <laughs> well, as you can see from the offspring, not being the classic Marama white, things didn't go as planned. Call it puppy love with the neighbor's border collie. One litter eventually turned into a herd and with them not being purebred, they were hard to sell. <laughs> this year there were 26 with puppies on the way and just too many to manage. So the farmer reached out to the Second Chance Animal Rescue who picked them up. And he wasn't, he just kind of let them be them. So they are on like a couple sections of land and just out with the animals. See a calf cuddling with a dog and a peacock sitting on a cow and a goat and another dog off in the hay bale. The dogs were the protectors of a variety of animals at the farm. That means the rescue wants to find them new homes where they can continue to do their job. And this many that, that already know kind of what they're doing and what their job is, right? Like a lot of them like they're bred for it but they haven't experienced it so these guys already kind of know not all of them are socialized and the large intake of animals does put a strain on scars uh, they'd get pent up if they stayed here for too long right like they want to they want to be able to hurt things the rescue is also using this as a reminder if you're not a proper breeder things can easily get out of hand. It's meant to be a guardian dog. They don't need to be a breeding dog and a guardian dog. You can fix your dog and they'll still do the job. Now, I know I would just love to take one of these dogs home with me, but, well, they are farm dogs and they haven't really been exposed to indoor living. So the ideal home will be an outdoor home with some work for them to do. From outside Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.